Hey you! Yeah you! Did you know that this channel and its contents are intended for older audiences, nostalgia junkies, and man children Thomas fans like I am? Because you do now. Beds. We all love getting into them and we all hate getting out of them. Personally for me, if it's light outside, I'm awake. And once I'm awake, I can't fall asleep again or nap until it's dark. I envy people that can fall asleep within minutes. How do you do it? But when it comes to the world of the island of Sodor, at the end of a busy day, the engines return to their homes, their beds, their sheds. And many would argue that when it comes to the sheds on the island of Sodor, one of, if not the first location that comes to anyone's mind is Tidmouth Sheds, the most famous and well-known of the sheds on the island of Sodor. Also nicknamed the Roundhouse due to its round appearance due to it being around a turntable. Many different toy versions of Tidmouth Sheds have existed, and adding to that today is Mattel's brand new Connect and Go Tidmouth Sheds, for Thomas and Friends motorised and push along. However, if you have the Superstation adapters, you can pretty much use any brand of Thomas track and trains you want. Currently, there are three variations to collect. Not that the sheds are any different, they're all identical. The only difference is the characters that you can get. You can get a shed with Thomas, Percy or Diesel. Taking a look at the shed itself, they are very detailed, very accurate, and just perfectly looking to how they are in the show, with the exception of the use of more vibrant and bright colours to make them really pop out. And I feel like if you were into weathering and detailing, that would look incredible on these sheds. Make them look a bit dirty and make them look a bit more realistic. Now let's look at the trains. And... Yeah. The engines included are all stock standard off the shelf engines. I feel Mattel really missed out on a big opportunity here. I would have made a subtle difference to these trains, but subtle enough to make them different. I would have made it look like the engines were asleep, giving them a sleeping hat, on one side a teddy bear and the other side some Z's. Seeing as the sheds are where the engines sleep, this would make a lot more sense. How you see the sheds is how they come in the store. No box, no packaging, just a simple tag with a little plastic tab to move the trains in and out of the sheds. The shed doors look really nice with a slight wood texture. Some plastic sheet behind the windows would look amazing if you're going for that extra bit of detail. The walls of the shed look almost perfect, but the lack of window frames make the windows on the sides look kind of unfinished. The shed doors and rear wall of the shed can be opened up to expand with more track, and once all closed up, it has a nice and secure storage area where your trains can go. There is also a handle on every shed bay, for portability, taking it back to the take-along and take-and-play days. Now because these sets come with your stock standard trains, I already have them, so I'm going to be keeping these as they are. As you can see, you can still play with these as intended so, without taking out any of the packaging details. Also, I really like these tabs, as it shows it's their shed. And to be honest, I hope Mattel releases a wider range of characters apart from these three. Like maybe give us James, Gordon, hell even Nia. Otherwise, it's just far too easy to collect the whole set. Plus, doesn't make it worth it for those who are, like me, wanting to make a seven bay Tidmouth Sheds as seen in the show. Or a six bay if you're a purist to the original series. Now sadly, I don't have the Trapmaster 2 turntable. I would love to connect these sheds to that to see how authentic it would be, and maybe even create my own Trapmaster Tidmouth sheds. Maybe I'll find it one day. So what are my overall thoughts on the Connect and Go Tidmouth sheds? I need them. You need them. The basics of having a train set is track for your trains to ride, some jobs to do for them, and somewhere for them to sleep and refuel. Engine sheds are a must on every railway and I highly recommend the Connect and Go Tidmouth sheds. I just hope to get more character variation at the end of the day. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on these. Are you going to be getting them? Will you miss them out? Let me know. In New Zealand, the RRP for the Tidmouth sheds Connect and Go sets are $19.99. Let's call that $20. 
Also, follow me on Instagram, as I post there very regularly. This is Dieselworks123 signing off. Hope you have a very good day, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.